Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, um, I think I'm wearing the same outfit that I was wearing in my haul video because I'm filming these on the same day and I can't be bothered to change my jumper because it's really warm and cosy. So if you wanna see where I got this jumper from, um, it's in my haul video that should probably be my last video up. So in today's video, I'm finally testing the Ordinary Coverage Foundation and I've been getting a lot of requests to review this. I love reviewing new foundations and the fact that this foundation is under six pounds and it's it's supposed to be really good. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm hoping that I like it. I've got it on my face right now, but I've only had it on for like a couple of hours after like filming this intro. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing you how it lasts throughout the day. I'm probably gonna be wearing it for at least eight hours. And let's see if it's actually any good. If you guys want me to continue with these foundation reviews, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Um, and also if you're new here and you like like cheap makeup and hauls and testing videos and review videos of makeup, then make sure you press that little subscribe button. My piercing was a bit sore, so I've just, ow, I just put myself in the eye. Yeah, my piercing was a bit sore, so I put like, I've just done like a sea salt soak thing on my ear, and it's really red. So for my base under my makeup, I'm actually gonna use the Ordinary Buffet, which is, it's got like a mixture of different skincare things, and this is another thing that I bought at the same time, which I mentioned in my haul, but I've really been liking it, and I've also already got my SPF on, because, I wear it every day. So I got this off of Cult Beauty because they didn't have my shade on Beauty Bay, um, but they do sell it on both of these. It was £5.90 and you get 30 mil of product. And it says that it's a full coverage foundation um, and on the side, it just says a high coverage, creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues. Shake before use, dispense a small amount into the palm or the back of your hand. Smooth on and blend throughout the face, ideally outward from the midpoint of the face. Um, and that is basically all it says. And I got the shade 1.0N. They've got lots of different shades um, in lots of different like undertones and stuff. And I was a bit confused, I'm not gonna lie, about which one to get. But I settled on this one, which I haven't actually tested. I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. It's in a kind of frosted matte plastic tube. It's not glass, it's plastic, which is quite good because it means it's, you know, convenient for travel and stuff. And it does have a pump, which I really like. I think for £5.90, for a full coverage foundation, 30 mil with a pump, is an absolute steal. Like, this is literally the same price of the, as the foundation that I got in Primark. Um, my eye is so itchy today. The time is 2.49pm, so I know that I'm putting this on quite late, but... My working hours are kind of from like 12 noon until like 12 a.m. So I'm sure I'm still gonna be awake later. So I imagine I'll be able to like wear this for at least like eight hours and do like some check-ins and stuff. So I'm just gonna give it a shake like it suggests. They do do a serum foundation as well, but I think that one's a bit lighter coverage. The words serum foundation kind of put me off because it sounds like it's gonna be oily. Okay, it's not too thick, not too thin. Um, It sounded like it was gonna be quite liquidy, but it's just kind of your average foundation consistency. So I'm gonna start with one pump. That is one pump. I think the shade is pretty much perfect for me, which is really good. It's got that slight, like, yellowy undertone. It did say that it's, like, more neutral, so I guess... I guess it is a bit more neutral, um, cause yeah, my skin is kind of neutrally. <laughs> so far, it's got pretty nice coverage. I wouldn't say that it's full coverage, um, but I did feel like that one pump was quite a small pump. Um, and sometimes when I pump out my foundation, like you can kind of tell how much product you've got on your finger and this felt like quite a small pump, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, so I would say that that one pump gave my face like a medium coverage. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer and show you. This is what the foundation looks like after the one pump. Um, it looks really nice. Like my skin still looks like skin. It doesn't look cakey at all. Like it's got a very natural kind of finish. Um, which I really do like, but I do want to get a bit more coverage with it So I'm just gonna add like one more pump I think just to my whole face to see if I can build it to full coverage Actually, you know what something I'm starting to notice the uh, buffet Which was the thing that I put on underneath this foundation It's kind of starting to like ball up and I know that it's not the foundation because when I put this on my face the other day, like just the buffet by itself, I kind of like wiped my face before I went to bed and it started to like ball up a little bit and I kind of forgotten that it did that. Um, as long as I press like this, it's fine, but in areas where I've accidentally swiped with my beauty blender, you can see like the thing underneath has started to like ball up, which is a little bit worrying considering I've got it all over my face, but 
Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. <laughs> By the way, I'm still using my Spore FX sponge, which I absolutely love. Okay, so this is the foundation after the second pump. It definitely built up the coverage a little bit, but I still wouldn't say that it's like full, full coverage. Um, it does have really nice coverage, and this is the kind of coverage that I like to wear on an everyday kind of basis, um, but it's not as full coverage as say something like the Urban Decay All Nighter or the Maybelline Superstay foundation. It's a lot more skin-like, if that makes sense. Before I do my concealer, I'm just gonna take you off the tripod and open my curtains and show you what it looks like in natural light. Okay, um, oh, I don't really know if this is gonna be helpful at all because it's so sunny outside. Okay, that's better. It's definitely not a matte foundation, but it's not like too dewy either. It is a little bit dewy. So I'm just using a tiny little bit of my shape tape under my eyes and then a little bit around my nose and on my nose as well. And then a tiny bit on my chin and on this blemish. Let me just quickly blend this in. I'm trying not to bring it too far down onto my cheeks. Okay, and then I'm gonna powder my face because that's what I would normally do. So I'm just using my Revlon Photo Ready Powder and I'm just gonna powder my entire face. Okay, so now that I've powdered my face, everything is completely matte. Um, my skin is still looking really nice. I really like how the foundation looks with like the rest of my makeup done. Um, so I'm now just gonna go away and do the rest of my makeup. It's probably gonna be quite like glam because I'm gonna go film an eyeshadow tutorial and then I'll be back to like check in throughout the day. So see you in a bit. Hello, so I've done my makeup now. Obviously um, I'm looking a lot more made up than I was a minute ago. Well, it was a minute ago for you guys, but for me, I've had this foundation on now for almost two hours and the time is half four. So it's just coming up to like two hours. Um, so far it's still looking completely fine. No real changes to note yet. I just thought I would update you because I did just film another video and um, yeah, I just finished off my makeup so I just wanted to show you my makeup really. And uh, I'm actually wearing the Ardell Magnetic Accent lashes the ones that go on like the outer half of your eyes and when I first tried these um, Magnetic lashes. I really didn't like them because I felt like you could really see the um, The magnets, but when you actually have like uh, eyeshadow on and eyeliner I decided to give them another try because I saw that Kathleen lights was recently like talking about how she loves these lashes um, and I thought I'd give them another go and I actually quite like them. I mean, up close, you can kind of almost see the magnets, but you know, from far away or from about this distance, you can't actually see that I'm wearing magnetic lashes. It just literally looks like I'm wearing normal lashes. So hmm, I'm pretty impressed. Hello. Wait, is my mic on? So the foundation has now been on my face for five hours, actually just over five hours. Um, mm, mm, mm. It's starting to look a little bit oily. Um, especially like around my nose and like on my forehead. Weirdly, with some foundations, I don't get oily on my forehead like at all, but then others I do, like it's very strange. I don't even know. Um, but my forehead is looking quite oily right now. My nose is looking a little bit oily. Um, and it has started to kind of, well, it's definitely sunk into my smile lines. I know that I say this in every foundation testing video, but if you're new to my channel, I have really deep set smile lines, um, as you can probably see, like when I, when I'm not even smiling, they're still there. Um, so yeah, my foundation sinks into them really easily and it has started to sink in there. It's also separated on my chin a little bit. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I'm gonna continue to wear it for the rest of the day. Um, it's just not as long lasting as some of my other foundations are, but that's okay. It didn't claim to be long lasting, so um, I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. So this is what we are looking like. One sec, let me just turn down the brightness because it's very, very bright. Hey, there we go. I'm hoping that helps. Look, you can kind of see how oily it is on my forehead. Like it's kind of emphasizing the texture on my forehead. Um, and also there, hopefully you can see around the size of my nose, it's starting to get pretty oily. But I imagine if I was to powder my face now, it would definitely help it last a little bit longer. I'm just kind of tapping in my smile lines. I mean, it doesn't look awful. I've definitely had foundations that last a lot less than this. Um, and by this point, like after five hours, they would literally be like a full on like oil slick. Um, I mean, it's okay, but it's just definitely not like the most long lasting foundation that I've tried. Okay, so this is the final check-in. It's 11.35, so this has nearly been on for nine hours, I think. Um, and as you can probably see, I'm looking pretty damn oily. Oh, I nearly fell over. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking pretty oily. Um, 
it's not looking great I have to say I mean to be fair like it hasn't really separated it's more just like looking super oily I reckon if I was to you know maybe after like five or six hours if I'd have powdered my face then this would have been a lot better um but yeah as you can probably see look at this oil so my overall verdict, I do really like the foundation, it's got a really nice finish and everything, it's not too like heavy or cakey on your skin, but it's definitely not the most like long lasting for oily skin. Um, I think if you have dry skin you might like this, or just normal skin, combination skin, then definitely give it a try. Even if you don't like it, it's literally like £5.90, you're not exactly, you know, breaking the bank. Um, so yeah, I think if you do have oily skin and you've got this foundation, just make sure you keep touching up your powder throughout the day, and you should be fine. Um, so yeah those are my overall thoughts so i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up let me know what you think down below because i would love to know if any of you have tried this foundation um, and what your thoughts are and stuff if there are any other foundations that you want me to review leave me a comment down below letting me know and i'll read through a lot of them and i'll continue to test foundations because i really love doing it so yeah that is it from me i hope you guys are all doing well and i'll see you in my next video bye